So we can block beta receptors or we can reduce calcium entry. We can also affect the system by adding nitric oxide. You have to remember how the vascular muscle, mus vascular vessels work. The aim of nitric oxide is to cause the arterioles to dilate and that means there's less work for the heart to pump because the arterioles are bigger and it's easier to push a fluid down a bigger tube than it is down a narrow tube. If you don't believe me try breathing through a straw. Secondly it diverts blood to more to the deep tissues of the heart. Arterioles have this structure with an endothelial cell, an endothelial cell layer, overlying a layer of smooth muscle. And on the outside we have this elastic adventitia. When the smooth muscle cells contract, the diameter of this vessel gets smaller. So let's have a look at what makes these smooth muscles contract because if we can stop them from contracting or if we can make them relax that will make the vessels bigger and so it's going to be easier to get fluid down those vessels and so more blood goes to the heart. So let's have a closer look at these smooth muscle. Unlike striated muscle their actinomycin isn't organised in that neat way that we see in striated muscle with the myosin here and the actin. We don't actually have that. What we have instead is the actin and myosin are all over the outside of the cell. And, but just like striated muscle, when the actin and myosin interact, they cause this much less coordinated contraction. And instead of it being controlled directly by the entry of calcium, it's controlled by proteins which phosphorylate the, uh, the contractile proteins. When you add nitric oxide, the nitric oxide activates guanylyl cyclase. I'm not sure whether I spelt that properly, so don't quote me on that. Guanylyl cyclase, and that converts GTP into cyclic GMP, and cyclic GMP interacts with the proteins that control action and myosin interaction and the result is that you get relaxation of the muscle. So how do we get nitric oxide into the system? Well you can simply give people nitric oxide and that works and if someone's having a heart attack that's one of the things you can do but you can also add it in the form of nitric oxide donors such as sodium nitroprusside or organic nitrates. And so that's the mechanism of drug action for angina.